Hello and welcome to the first video tutorial in this course and what we're going to look at in this video tutorial is the basics. We're going to look at entering formulas and efficiency tricks while entering formulas and we're also going to look at the basic formulas. We're working from the first workbook and we're working from the worksheet named basics and a lot of you will already be very familiar with this but just so we are all singing from the same hymn sheet and to learn the efficiency tricks for entering the formulas I'd still like you to cover this tutorial. So what we have here is we have the month and we also have the sales and over here we have fields that we're going to calculate so we're going to get the total and the first thing we're going to get the total the total is sum and the only keyboard the only formula with a keyboard shortcut is the sum formula and that's alt and equals and when you press alt and equals excel will try to identify the cells that you want to sum together in this case it selected cells c and d4 which is incorrect so I'm going to put the active cell as C4 and I'm going to press Control, Shift and Down Arrow. When you press Control, Shift and Down Arrow, it'll highlight the entire range down. The same with Control, Shift, Up Arrow, Control, Control Shift, Left Arrow and Control, Shift, Right Arrow. Now when you're entering formulas, most people press Enter. But there's some other options which give you, which can make things a little bit more efficient for you. For example, if you press Control and Enter, what it will do is it will keep the current cell active. So if you need to go back into that cell, there's no need to re-click the cell. You can also press when you're in the cell F2, and F2 will show you the formula and allow you to identify the cells that are within that formula. Now from here, if you press instead of enter again, if you press shift and tab, what that will do is that will move the active cell one cell to the left. Now I'm going to go back into the total cell again. I'm going to press F2 to make it active. And this time I'm going to actually press tab. And when you press tab, what you're going to do is you're going to move the active cell one cell to the right. Now what happens when you press enter is it jumps down. So we were here in our total and we press tab to jump one cell to the right and that brings us into the cell where we want to actually calculate the average. To calculate the average, so we put in equals. All formulas start with equals, so average A, V, E, or. Now, as you begin to type, you'll see these screen tips come up and di different formulas in the screen tips. You can use your down arrow mouse to move between these. The one that's blue, to accept it, press the tab key, and that will pull the formula up for you and put in the first bracket. Now, the average, what does the average do? Well, the average is going to calculate the average of the numbers in the cells of the selected ranges. So we want to select the range. So again, I'm going to put the active cell into C4. I'm going to press Control, Shift and Down Arrow to bring me to the end of the range. I'm going to close that bracket. Now, instead of pressing Enter and moving the active cell down, I'm going to press Shift and Enter. And what shift and enter will do is shift and enter will move the active cell up. So if you get used to using these efficiency tricks, they will help you move around a spreadsheet or move around a, a workbook much quicker. The next thing we're going to look at is we're going to look at basic formulas. We're going to look at the sum formula, the count formula, the average formula, the max and the min formulas. So to do this, I have another table of data. And what we have is, we have the sales rep, we have the product, the quantity, the unit cost, and we want to get the net sales. And the net sales is going to be the quantity multiplied by the unit cost. So equals the quantity, which is D12, multiplied by the unit cost. Now, I'm going to press Control and Enter to keep the current cell active. And I'm going to fill this down by dragging on the little crosshair and that will pull the whole formula down. Now to show you a different trick what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo this and I'm going to undo that and I'm going to do this again and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the whole row, the whole column of where I want the formula to be entered and I am going to say equals the quantity multiplied by the unit cost.
Now to populate all these cells with the answer, and what you're going to have to press is control and enter. And what control and enter will do is populate all these cells with the formula. Now if I jump down to the last cell there and I press F2 to activate, I can see that the cells that have been brought into that formula are correct. So we have the quantity by the unit cost for pairs sold by Kieran. Now let's just jump over here and what we're going to calculate is the total. The total is the sum formula and this will add all the cells in the selected range and we looked at this before. So you can press equal sum and then select the data that you want to select or you can also press alt and equals to get the automatic sum function in. The count formula, the count function, this will count the cells that contain numbers in a selected range. So that's equals count and as you can see as I begin to type the formula we get our screen tips come up. So I'm going to select the first one and I'm going to put in the values here to count and I'm going to close the bracket and press control and enter to keep the active cell. So it's counted six. Now if we delete a number from here you will see that it only counts five. So it only actually counts the cells that contain a number. The next formula that we have is the average formula and we again looked at the average formula just there previously and the average will calculate the average numbers in the selected range so equals average and the numbers are the average net sales I have manually highlighted that row with the mouse and press enter to jump down so my average is 1.5917 the max formula this will return the maximum value found in a selected range. So equals max. And let's select our range and close the bracket. And we can see ourselves that the maximum number there is 4.75. But imagine you had a column with hundreds or even thousands, thousands of rows of data. And it was very hard just to spot the maximum value. So you could easily use this function. And the min, well we can see from our net sales that the min is 0 0.08. So the min will return the minimum value found in a selected range. So equals min. And let's select our range. And it has found the minimum value. Now while we were here looking at basics, we're going to have a look at some formula auditing tools. And the formula auditing to tools is found under the formulas ribbon. And you will see here all this for formula auditing tools. There's a number of options in here and we're going to look at four of them now. We're going to look at trace precedence, trace dependence, we're going to look at remove arrows and we're also going to look at show formulas. The first thing we're going to look at is trace precedence and a precedence shows arrows that indicate which cell affects the value of the current cell. So we have this cell here highlighted the total cell and we want to know what cells affect the value of this cell. So we would hit the trace precedence button and as you can see we have this blue arrow and we also have this box around these cells here showing that all these cells affect the value of this particular cell. Now let's have a look at trace dependence and I'm going to hit the trace dependence button. Now when you hit the trace dependence button this will show arrows that indicate which cells are affected by the value of the current selected cell. So we've selected this cell here and it's pointing to all of these cells because all of these cells here use that cell in the actual value so they're dependent on that actual cell. Now we can remove the arrows and remove arrows will do exactly as it says, it will remove the arrows. The next thing we're going to look at is actually show formulas and when you hit show formulas what this does is it actually shows the formula instead of actually showing the value of the cell and I'm toggling on and off there by pressing the show formulas in the formula auditing tool in the formulas ribbon. You can do the same with the keyboard shortcut control and tilde and this will toggle between show formulas and the actual cell value. I would invite you now to go over the notes that you have to download and review them for this actual worksheet and in the next video tutorial we're going to be looking at relative and absolute cell references.